Our first purpose is to take the opportunity to commemorate our own uh, pioneer heritage and to have the kids get a view of that. They hear pioneer stories, uh, but it gives them another dimensional experience to come out, put their hands on a cart, to bush down a road, to get dust in their face. They have a new appreciation for what that's like, especially in a generation that's really used to easy life and electronics and everything's done for them. They get to experience and feel uh, some truth and grit about that experience. We got here to the Trek site and we were in families, our youth were all in their families and they were able to work together to put together hand, their hand carts to pack up their stuff. Um, they had, had a lot of really good bonding time and I was so grateful for that. And then Cody gathered them all together and gave this amazing thought. Remember the things that you feel today and tomorrow and the next day. You're gonna feel things that you possibly have never felt before. Remember those, okay? Write them down. You're gonna have opportunities to be able to record some of these feelings that you have and these thoughts that you have. Take those opportunities to remember them. And then he had everyone kneel in prayer before we started. It was, the spirit was so strong. It was so neat to do that as a, a large group. And then we started trekking and those first two miles were killer. They were hard. We knew they were going to be. We had come here and we knew we'd driven it. We knew it was going to be hard. I was not anticipating how hard. up the hill. That was a shock to me, at least. I was not expecting it to be that steep. I thought we were just gonna have an easy trail. I don't know, but it kind of put things in perspectives of what the pioneers actually had to do and some of the difficulties they had to face. And so I was really surprised at just how difficult it really was. First two was a whole bunch of rocks uphill and that was pretty brutal. Everyone was, it was sort of like we didn't get a warm up, it was just straight on through and um, but I guess the further you went on you know you just realize you know the, the more steps I take the less I have to you know. We had a lot of uphill climbs and a lot of rocks in our way but our family was so supportive of each other so it was just kind of um, it was kind of fun and we kind of played games to kind of pass the time and we would always encourage each other to keep going so um, the mountains kind of seemed small when we did that. We've definitely had some troubles along the way, but we have pushed through it and worked hard as a family and also as a whole group together, helping each other move each other up the large hills over the rocks, and it's been a great experience so far. I saw if someone was um, having a hard time, immediately someone came to help. And we saw it in our own family where we had our stuff fall off the end 
and immediately people came and helped and I loved seeing that where people just do service on the spot. It doesn't matter where they are, what they're doing. Life is hard. It's not, it's not a walk in the park as they say. It's, times are gonna be hard. And these are the sort of experiences that you can remember and, and can know that you can get through it. That as you work together as a team, as you serve each other, as you rely on Christ, you can get through anything you need to get through. One of the times that I loved is when we were at the top of the mountain and there was a large gap between handcarts for some reason. Our youth started to wonder where the rest of the handcarts were and why there was such a big gap. And it was interesting because you saw some of them go up to the top of the hill and they started to look down and then they started walking down and um, and then more youth started to go look and walk down and at that point you still couldn't even see the handcarts that were still behind. And then you see the big mob of kids running back to help the, the farther back uh, carts and stuff but I don't know it's cool to see like even though people are hurting and crying or whatever going through their emotions that they're still like okay whatever let's let's get down there and help them out. We didn't really know how far behind we were until we saw everybody up there and then all of a sudden there's just this huge flood of people, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> coming to help us. And I've heard stories of, um, you know, the pioneers, they knew there were angels pushing their carts, but I know that those were our angels and we couldn't have gone through that without them, so yeah. <laughs> Lizzie Oaks, she's probably gonna hate me for pointing her out, but um, she, I saw her walk by and I was like, oh, hey Lizzie. And like five minutes later, she goes by again and I was like, what are you doing, girl? And so she kept going back and helping people. And so I went with her and some of my siblings went with her. And then pretty soon there was just a ton of people going and helping. And so it was amazing to see how one person taking a stand can make a bunch of people and it felt great just going and helping people and knowing that you're making a difference. In fact, on the first day we were pushing and it was just us girls in the back and it was just me and Lauren and we were pushing and out of nowhere just this kid comes up and he starts pushing and we got over all these rocks and then he just left and we like looked at each other we're like did you see that and he was like she's all yeah I don't know who that is and we haven't seen him since so I mean they're like little angels it's pretty cool I don't know it's nice to know that there's still people out there who are willing to go the extra mile and do their work and then other people help them out. trekked for a while um, and we got to a great big open meadow and I think a lot of people were like this is it right we're gonna stay here and <laughs> it wasn't we were still hiking and we were getting to the point where we wanted to be and it was like almost in reach and we were so close but we weren't there yet the first day our plan was originally to walk eight miles maybe ten we ended up walking twelve and it was hard and it pushed our youth, it pushed our moms and paws beyond I think what any of them had expected. It was a mental mind game to realize, okay, I'm gonna have to push myself and then it got dark and they were trekking in the dark 
and they didn't know what you couldn't really see where you were going and to rely honestly on each other and on their savior because i know that they were praying i know it i could feel it i could feel the spirit and it was amazing to see them keep going it was amazing to see them stick together and it was just it was a really neat experience for them It was such a relief to finally arrive at winter quarters because we've, you know, we've gone like so far and it was so hard, but we all pushed through it and it was just amazing to know that we triumphed something that we thought was impossible. It was exciting. I, people were cheering, like everyone was so excited. I think it's the best because we knew that we were going to get to this spot, but we knew that we had to go through that hard work and being able to come to a place, it just all paid off. The experience of the trek is not just the walking and the trekking. The other experience we wanted them to have was the winter quarters experience, this experience of coming together, reuniting with other saints, preparing for a further trek, um, reestablishing a, a Zion in the mountains and moving forward, uh, preparing for those that will come behind. That's the, the real aspect of the service orientation of our trek. It's how, what do we leave behind, what, what kind of care can we give for others. And we just thought the winter quarters experience really had that in it. And so we've centered our trek around that winter quarters experience.
takeaway that I think I have from going on this trek is finding out the difficulties that our pioneers faced because it truly made me understand and kind of sort of comprehend just how difficult their journey was to, for us and for the opportunities that we have today. It made me realize what they went through and it made me see like all the sacrifices that they made. I don't know, I can't help thinking about how, how strong they had to be, you know, because looking back, like just thinking about how hard this would be, just do the, the whole 12, 15, 20 miles, however much they did every day for 150 days and the cold and the heat, whatever it is, and going over mountains and through trees, and it's insane. Just getting to know yourself and to know that your ancestors did this too, I mean, it's just a piece of you that just kind of comes together and you didn't really expect it. It doesn't matter how hard it is, you can get through it. When you don't think you can take another step, you can. And that's, if they come, come away with nothing other than that, knowing that they can help someone when they're going through hard times, they can in turn help others to get through it as well, then it was a complete success. The experiences doing hard things makes me feel better about myself. And like, I can do hard things. And so when I'm in a trial in life, I look back and I say, oh, I did a trek. I can do this now. This is a test. This is, <laughs> this is us getting ready to have our own family, have our own job. And it's a wonderful experience. It helps, it helps me grow even more to uh, want to do better every single day. I feel like I can I can apply that to my life because I know there's going to be trials, but I know that when I always, when I turn to my family or turn to the Lord, that I will be able to make it through and get to the, the finish line and be happy. How often do you get to leave the city and be away from electronics and the world and just be in nature and live like the pioneers? I'm so grateful to have this experience. And um, I heard somebody say the other day, you know, this isn't just a good church. We're not part of just a good church. It's the true church, and I don't think I could have had this experience anywhere else. And it's, I'm so grateful to have this, for like, just to have it, and to have it in my memory for forever. Come thou fount of every blessing To my art to sing thy grace Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it Mount of thy unchanging love.